Hi, this is Peter Jacobson. I'll be reading the story of Hanukkah, adapted by Jeremy Frank. Long ago in the land of Israel, in the center of the walled city of Jerusalem, there stood a beautiful temple. Outside of Israel, though, there lived a very wicked man named Antiochus, the king of Syria. The king did not like people who had beliefs different than his own, and so he went around the world forcing his religion on all the people he conquered. When Antiochus and his army invaded Israel and took it over, he decreed that only his gods could be worshipped. He made the Jews swear that they would give up their religion and customs and follow his instead. He also commanded that all of the Jewish temples be converted or destroyed, including the beautiful one in Jerusalem. Those who refused to follow Antiochus' commands were to be severely punished. Some Jews obeyed Antiochus out of fear, but others were brave enough to refuse. Judah Maccabee was one such man. Judah and his brothers were all strong fighters who formed an army of their own to fight King Antiochus and his men. Although they were greatly outnumbered, the Maccabees fought the Syrian army with all their might. With the strength that only comes from fighting for something you truly believe in, Judah and the Maccabees defeated Antiochus and his army and triumphantly reclaimed the temple in Jerusalem. However, when they entered the temple for the first time, they were shocked to see it in shambles. The golden pitchers were all tarnished, the marble floors were cracked, and there was no oil to light the menorah. They began cleaning the temple, removing every sign and symbol of the religion that had been forced upon them by their invaders. As they worked, they found a small container of oil. They all knew the little oil they had would only be enough for one night, but then a miracle took place. Instead of going out, the lamps kept burning and burning. They burned for eight days and eight nights, and this way the Maccabees knew God was with them. That is why we celebrate Hanukkah every year, and why we light eight candles in our menorahs. The End